think there are a couple of things that probably need to happen in order for next generation sequencing to have full implementation across the board. And I think probably the key factor is that you need to have an assay that is, in this country, FDA approved. And in other parts of the world, you'd have to be approved by the regulatory agencies. Once you have an, uh, an assay that is approved, then you can set that up in your own laboratory if you have a big hospital or a network of, of outpatient clinics. Uh, and you can actually extract DNA in a uh, clinically certified environment and you can run this on a regular next generation sequencer, which is basically a, a standard instrument these days. So if you have the capacity to do that and those assays are available, then uh, I think we will see full implementation. And I think we probably are one to two years away from that to come through uh, from where we are right now.